Lecture number 12, Communication Layer, the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web is the infrastructure of distributed information combined with software that uses computer networks as a vehicle to exchange that information. Huh, I know this sounds like a mouthful, but let's get into this. The World Wide Web is made of web pages, links, websites, web browsers, and web servers. A web page is a, a document that contains or represents various kinds of data such as text, images, graphics, and programs. A link is a connection between one web page and another. A website is a collection of related web pages, usually designed and controlled by the same person or company. A website is held together by linking between those particular pages. A web browser is software program that, ret that retrieves and displays software pages. A web server is a computer set up to respond to requests for web pages. So for example, you could have a hosting account on say yahoo.com and when somebody type in your web address, it will go to those go to that web server, it'll grab those web pages and it'll bring it back to your web browser. As a search engine is a website that helps you find other websites usually by comparing keywords entered by the user and words on various websites. For example, you got Google, Bing, and Yahoo. So basically, you type in something and you search for something. So before the search engines came on board, it was almost impossible to find something on the web. A web page are created using a language called the Hypertext Markup Language (HTML). And what I'm going to do is kind of show you behind the scenes of a, of a particular web page. So looking behind the scenes, you see. Let me turn on my handy dandy pointer. You see that usually most web pages start with an HTML tag, and it closes with an HTML tag and you see this backslash is kind of says open and close. You have a, you have a portion here called a header. It has a title of your website and notice these backslashes. These backslashes is what opens and closes a particular part of the website. Also you have the body. It's like a letter. Now this is what's inside the internal web page. Inside the body you have a thing called paragraphs. You see the P and you see the slash P. All right. So what I want to do right now, let's go to uh, let's go to a website right now. Let's go ahead and leave leave this thing. And start discard changes, and let's go to a website. All right. Let's let's go to Morehouse. Morehouse. Morehouse.edu. All right, so you see this is a website. It's your typical website. If I click on one of these, these are links. When I click on this link, this link is going to take me to another web page. It's just really just a connection of things. Okay, and so if, if I want to see the code behind this website and this Firefox browser, I click on this link and I go to Web Developer and I can say View Source. And it shows me the source behind this particular web page. And notice here you got an HTML tag, got your header tag, and this is like a comment. Now I see some JavaScript function in here, but this is basically what's behind this website, and you see you got a closed HTML tag. So the same thing I showed you on the PowerPoint slide is what you'll find behind most web pages. All right, that ends our lecture for today.